And we are back live. So this is the finals of the Indianapolis Clips event between Sam Tashima and Jeff Levine. Arguably two of the two of the hottest players right now. Uh, they both top board the Supreme Southern Showdown, which is the last major we had. And here they are again. Come household names at this point. And yeah, it, it's pretty. Uh, both players, I think, have had a similar trajectory where they um, they were just kept on working at the game in the past couple of years. Uh, uh, past year or so, I've started putting up consistent results. Um, we almost yeah. had this finals at the southern showdown i think um sam lost to hayes in the semifinals but this time he prevailed and now we have the sam jeff matchup yeah so this is sam's hunt down or sorry sam's hit at base versus yes hunt down from jeff this is, we promise this is 2024 star wars ccg <laughs> <laughs> um who is the higher seed was it Sam? I believe it was Sam, yeah. Um, so Sam is elected to go first. Uh, things are um yeah, it'll I think Sam's gonna be favorite in this matchup. Um if you had watched the, the previous game against Hayes, um Hayes only played one battleground. And um, Sam was able to cancel that drain and lock him out in part because Hayes didn't play any space at all. Um, similarly, I would expect, I, I don't know what's in Jeff's hunt down list, but I would expect there'd only be one battleground site. Um, but another key difference is that there's uh, Visage. Um, and uh, I think you said earlier, Jeremy, that you think Sam's playing two transmission terminated? I believe so. I don't know the exact number, but I believe it's two. Yeah, I, I mean, it looks like he wasn't playing any in Atlanta, um, but it makes more sense here in this top eight where you know that Casey was playing um, Hunt Down. Yeah, I would expect him to have a few. Yeah, I don't, I feel like Hunt Down these days generally does not play more than one visage um, at most you'll see one more floating in the deck back in the day back in you know like 1999 i think you'd play um three or three or four visages commonly yeah um sevens were a lot harder to come by then too so it's um yeah, I think usually the play is you have your one visage, you hope it doesn't get cancelled, and if you do, you plan to uh, get it back with no escape. So it'll be interesting to see you know, Sam could have transmission terminated here, but then he might also be looking to uh, cancel it and then immediately force drain. Like, if he doesn't during his control phase, then he can get around um, Jeff using no escape to get it back. So it'll be interesting to see when um, Sam draws transmission terminated and when he decides to play it and if he sequences it correctly. So Jeff does have Emperor Shuttle in hand, but only one Twix this time, and he plays his 2 2. Yeah, he, he played Sonic to get the 2 2 out instead of um get, instead of getting the 2 and he played Vane. I I actually think if I'm Jeff, I don't think I actually played the 2 2 there. I guess he's just thinking he's gonna need the force. But I mean Tuna Base is gonna give you a million force. Right. Sam's gonna play two locations. And even without that, he would he would have activated one, two, three, four, five, six, seven force, and he left two, which is enough to like to deploy Vader. 
Um, so if I'm if I'm Jeff, I it also looks like he has Vader's saber in hand. Um, I don't think he has Vader though, does he? Yeah, I see a Vader. Or I thought I did. Yeah, I don't know if you, you would even bother playing I Am Your Father here. If you have it, right? You just wouldn't. Um, you'd rather just have the one force. So Sam's getting out Tatooine system and Naboo system. But anyway, yeah, I would I wouldn't have played the two two there. Just deny Sam two force. Yeah, knowing you're gonna get a bunch of force from Sam. Yeah, and then you just run it out the next turn and um That being said, I don't know. It might not matter that much because basically everything in Sam's deck deploys for like one or two. I guess it means he gets to draw more cards though. Right. Yeah, I think he just spent two force to deploy that. He wouldn't have been able to deploy it otherwise if he'd only activated three or four, I guess. So I guess he wouldn't have deployed it, but... Uh... I forget, is movement from rendezvous point free? It's free to certain locations, right? Like to indoor or whatever. Yeah, so it's not free. It's just um, their hyperspeed plus two when moving from there. Again, keeping him at rendezvous point, I guess that means the ruling is that rendezvous point is a system. And he gets plus one activation off of that card. I don't think that's right, though. But I assume someone ruled on that. I can tell you what Kemp says. So it Rendezvous is a point is a system, yeah. It's just a deep space system. Yeah, that we were think I was thinking it was like a system card, so it would be a system, but given that it is deep space. I don't know if that disqualified it. Yeah, I think it's just a classification of systems, right? Kind of like interior, exterior, underground. I've got a rules question completely unrelated to this game. Since I see the rules advocate online, <laughs> uh, so Vader comes out to Mustafar. Emperor Shuttle comes down to Naboo. Okay. Emperor comes down. Very interesting that the shuttle came down as quickly as it did. I mean, I guess. The alternative is you wait until Sam has enough force to play. It can wait and just prevent it from ever coming down. But you you are running yeah. the risk of Sam coming and battle in, battling into this. But does Sam have a lot of a lot of stuff he could battle with? I mean, he has ships for sure. Yeah, but does he have ships that can really do anything about the Emperor Shuttle? Well, Tycho came down, and Tycho cancels immunity. I'm just pulling up his deck list again. Okay, I guess he's got he's got Bravo Fighter, which would be pretty good here. Gold Leader and Gold One would be good. Green Leader. 
Yeah, he's got some stuff. I'm sure he plays Huntry Falcon. No weapons, though. I don't know if he plays X-Wing Cannon. He only has, like, one X-Wing in his deck. Yeah, it doesn't look like he has any weapons. So, yeah, Tycho would have been very good. Uh, green leader, green one would also cancel immunity. And I, a Bravo fighter, I believe, can target any ship that doesn't have a pilot aboard. Correct, yeah. So, and at this very moment, he is susceptible. That said, Sam's destiny is pretty terrible. I think he has like, you know, there could be eight or 10 cards total that have destiny greater than three. Yeah, I think, um, I think, I think he might be playing multiple shuttles. And if you can get a shuttle down now before Sam had the force to play, it can wait. That allows him to pay to drain. I don't know if Sam even wants to deploy in front of the shuttle. You know. He does have, um, this is where the fun begins, which is like the organized attack for Republic Starfighters. So he could get a beatdown in with that card. It's like red eight, so he's playing playing defensive shield. Okay, so he is attacking the shuttle. Yes, yeah, Sam's looking at if you can get gold leader, gold one plus green leader. This that would be really nice. So it looks like he just puts red aid in front of the shuttle. Yeah, he does play a couple Fugitives um, out of nowhere and a couple Hyper Escapes. So if he has Hyper Escape here, he can just Rubble Fleet Vader's Drain. And then if Sam battles in space, he can play Hyper Escape. Yeah, so Sam doesn't need to flip here. Rebel Fleet, pretty big here, actually. Because now Sam doesn't really have to flip until he can kill that shuttle. Sam loses, it can wait off the top from Visage. It's hard to see how, it looks like Sam has some force saved. I can't see how many. I think one interesting decision um, 
Jeff will need to make is what card to grab against Sam. Looks like he's playing force push. What are you looking for here? Tarkin? I think he already has Tarkin in hand. I don't think he's playing Hyperwide Scan. That would obviously be the best card here, but I just don't think he's playing it. I'd be tempted to just grab the second ship. Yeah. Um. First Strike isn't terrible. I think he took first strike. It might have been the only card that does anything, but I agree with you that maybe he just wanted the second ship. I don't think Sam's playing it, but Gick combo does cancel Hyper Escape. So Tarkin is deployed, so he's got a full suited up Emperor shuttle that is now immune to Bravo and Sam does have the hyper escape. Yep, as expected. Does not look like Jeff is going to grab that. Okay, so Jeff moves in front of Red 8. And Sam flips during Jeff's draw phase. Okay. So I guess see the hidden if, base is not Kifex. Let's see if Jeff saves. Yeah, saving playing force just in case goal leader comes out. So he may want to stop drawing at this point. Yeah. Yes, him cancels transmission terminated um, during the draw step. And then we'll be paying for three, which... Um, means it seems unlikely that Jeff will be able to get back that visage, even if he has no escape. It's hard to know what to grab in this matchup, because you don't know. Like, Sam could be playing, it could be worse, right? You just don't know. Probably all wings report in, would be my, my guess. No, I for all wings, I think you just you're just gonna get out code clearance shield. Well, I'm just thinking of interrupts that he probably has a lot of that he'll be cycling. I mean, I guess you could grab it can wait, but the interesting thing with it can wait is that he he actually has the full shuttle out right now. Yeah. It's like, what is he going to get back with the can wait? I love that. Yeah, I don't really... Like, all these space battle cards don't seem great to grab, like, Hit Runner, Hyper Escape. I mean, Hyperscape would have been very tempting for me to grab. I think Sam... Uh... 
I think Sam should have deployed. Um, wedge to the rendezvous point and then moved over. That would save him a force. Where do you think? Um, I mean, Sam still has a lot of turn left, but where where do you think um, the hidden base is going to be? Is it at the empty system? Yeah, it's the that's the game, right? Possibly could be Narshada. But the thing about this though is because Sam has Rebel Fleet, even if Hidden Base gets probed, it's like not the biggest deal, right? Because you still have the access to cancel drains. There's really only one drain you care about in this matchup. And I imagine eventually you're gonna kill him in space. So Luke comes down. Yeah, that's good. Very interestingly, uh, he goes down to flip. Luke cannot force drain our battle, which is why I assume he's at Tatooine, which where he could only otherwise drain for one. Makes sense. But um, yeah, I'd be tempted to just go back to Naboo. Yeah, probe. Yeah, even though he'll be able to cancel the immunity. Like, that's the least tempting location to move back to. Look at all those cards in Jeff's hand. I don't think they do anything. So Sam gets to verify. Jeff's deck probably looking. Do you have any more ships? Do I just have to contend with Emperor Shuttle? Yeah, like I said, because of Rebel Fleet, like, head and base gets flipped back or gets placed out of play, it's even not that big of a deal for Sam. Because he can just always block the Emperor Drain. He cancel the Vader Drain. Alright, so he does go back to Nabu. But that's in front of Tycho. Interesting. So, Jeff was in drawing. It looked like the first card he drew was the other sh shuttle. So he does have a backup shuttle. Um, Sam's going to be able to retreat for one and is the other system Narshada? Yeah, it's Kithex, Narshada, Nabu, Malastare, Tatooine. Or Malachor. Sorry about Malastare. So Sam's going to get two drains of two here. He really needs to find we're on automatic pilot. Oh, he's I guess I wouldn't do anything because of the shuttle. Oh, he's not he's not playing battle plan or battle order, or is that just hidden? Uh, I don't know. Yeah, it looks like Jeff had forgot to deploy it. Yep. So like I said, 
Save gets a drain on the house here. Oh, uh, I think losing the Sonic there is a mistake. One other thing that? Jeff should be doing is finding his 2-0, taking it into hand, losing it, and then retrieving it with the, the downtown plaza. Oh, yeah. Uh, normally, you just, like, Jeff, or sorry, Sam could play um, simple tricks to stop, stop that, but here... Um, Jeff has a, a second battleground. So Jeff will get to pro during Sam's deploy phase. I'm I'm interested to see if um Sam's gonna go for the beat down here. It didn't look like Jeff had a second emperor in hand. So I mean, Jeff can draw very well with three destiny, but because of Tycho, would need to forfeit something to a trade. Um, they might not they might not do enough for him oh here's Bravo Fighter okay that would have been pretty good last turn yeah I, I feel like Sam has gotten um, he probed he got it Okay. You're right. It was Naboo. Still, I just don't think that matters too much. Yeah, Rebel Fleet's definitely going to be a problem. Um, I think it does change the complexion of the game quite a bit, though. Um, whereas Hayes got locked out in the previous game, playing against Sam's deck because um, Hayes didn't play any starships. He wasn't actually going to ever be able to flip Sam back. And um, he, uh, Jeff can kind of draw himself out at any point if, if things kind of get out of hand. So they kind of, they kind of have to just play in it. Uh, like a, a typical game. And, and Sam's going to be canceling the drain on the ground and, yeah, I uh, would like be running away and force draining. So, looks like yeah, Jeff, Jeff is only going to be able to do like one damage a turn, right? Drain for two, and then Sam will retrieve one. There is a battle here. I wonder if he thought that he could shoot with Bravo Fighter. I mean, one thing Sam could be thinking about here. So oh, he plays hit run. Okay, so I guess he just wanted to battle, cause a force loss, retrieve a force, and then lose a force. Did we see what was his top card that he retrieved? Do we know? Uh, I think it was the transmission terminated. Okay. I mean, you're pretty happy as Jeff to get hit a base off the table, but you're still staring down a massive amount of drains. He's going to get drained for six next turn. And you're only dealing two damage and Sam's retrieving one. Yep. 
Yeah, Sam just needs to find his weather vane, and then he'll be damage neutral. Yeah, the, the cards that I'd, I'd be looking for if I'm Jeff is um, the hyper scan or whatever that card is. Yeah, hyperwave scan. Hyperwave scan so that um, he couldn't cancel the drain. I mean, he. Yeah, I guess if he, even if he played that, Sam could just play ultimatum. In either way, he's just going to lose two, four. So, like, hyperwave scan actually doesn't even seem to do anything here. Yeah, because you can just cancel the drain in space instead of your whole fleet. And there it is. Oh, wow. Oh, that's good. So Jeff did grab a uh, hit and run. I'm pretty sure. No, no, he just grabbed it. Can wait. Oh. Okay, he must have gestured to grab hit and run, but never did it. So mall ship does change things quite a bit. Yeah. This could be pretty close, I think. Cause you're right, mall ship changes a bunch, changes a lot. Sam just did he lost your automatic pilot, so I guess he's given up on that that idea. It would be helpful to know how much force so Sam looks like he has over 10 cards in hand. Yeah, you're maybe about 15, 16 down. Yeah, drains two, retrieves one. It's an automatic, it's an automatic pilot. Drains two, a Kifex. Jeff has a lot of cards. I'm surprised he's peeling. Yeah. It's a lot of cards, a lot of do-nothings in his hand. I mean, the tough thing here is that um, oh, there's Weather Vane. Sam found that. So he's effectively damage neutral. So he spent one, two, three, four, five, six to drain, one to retrieve, one for that ship. So he spent nine force. I don't know why he's playing this other ship. I don't think he should play that other ship. What does that do for you? Like you would rather have it in hand, right? Well, this lets him go. Yeah, I'm not sure why he's playing it either. Well, I guess this allows him to go to Naboo. I think he could have done that anyway with just it can wait. Oh. Hmm. OK, 
Okay. It's a little confusing. So we have seven cards in his force file right now. Does that, mean he, does that mean he only has 18 cards left? Seven plus six, right? So 13 plus five for the movement. Yeah, I think he's got 18 down. I honestly, if I'm Jeff, I'd be considering just drawing up. Does Jeff think he can win this game? Do you think? I don't see how he can win this game. He has Weather Vane out. So you can drain for. It'll be a couple turns for him to to drain him out, but like all Sam needs to do is lose a card from hand, cancel a drain, lose a card from hand, and then retrieve a card. Um, yeah, and then the always so report in um, retrieval is lurking. Yeah, that's true. So that's an eventuality. Jeff did not play code clearance. He's still busted. You got to imagine this ball ship is getting bounced again. Oh, yeah, almost certainly. <laughs> okay, so train for two at Arshada. Jeff reading the arc, arc one seventy starfighter. I would go. I'd be very tempted to go to Keyfex here. Even with Tycho there. Yeah. So he's only going to draw one battle destiny, and so he's power three. Or the Sith Infiltrator. Yeah. He's going to play it can wait, though. Okay, there's the Infiltrator to Kifex. Does it really want to cost him four force to play all that? Yeah, I think he had to, it can wait the infiltrator. Is that how that works? Oh, it's free, right? It can wait makes it free, but that Goldenrod makes pay too. That's right. Okay, so Jeff blocks the Malachor Drain. Jeff is taking a lot of damage, but he is kind of doing two damage a turn, three damage a turn as well. Yeah, because the Ikan Wait's getting grabbed. The Ikan Wait, he's losing. He's draining for two. Um, he has to play a ship to the Rebel Fleet. And he has to play a ship to Rebel Fleet, and then Sam retrieves one. So that's Ikan Wait, the drain of two, the ship is four cards lost, and then Sam retrieves one. And then, but he he is going to start draining at two systems a turn. Um, I'm really confused why Luke's at Naboo. Right, I would 
he can't force him where Luke is. You think you'd want to keep him at Tatooine. So yeah. that he's giving up drain a one to retrieve one. My guess is that the only place those arc starfighters could go from Rodney Point is Tatooine. What parasect is Malachor? Six. So yeah, I don't think they can go from Rendezvous to Malachor, can they? They're only hyperspeed six. Rendezvous is three, 13. So I think he wants to keep six force and force pile in order to play the Mexican weight. Yeah, I still don't understand why he played that that one Starfighter from hand that turn if he was just playing on you can wait. Okay, he's dropping a lot of ships here. I think that's green leader and gold one, or green leader and gold leader. I'm going to be forced to Jeff save. Okay, this looks like a battle. I can't figure out what the the last ship is. It's great green leader. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's the AI, I'm pretty sure. So yeah, it cancels the immunity, immunity of Emperor Shuttle. Whoa. Phil, Phil coming in clutch here with the act of judging. So Jeff draws a four, a five, and a three. Seven's on three or two. Sam is going to have to lose uh, three ships here. Um, Sam is powers, but seven, ten, twenty. Four or twenty-five. Does Jeff just have to lose Emperor? Yeah. And Sam doesn't has not saved enough force for he can wait. So we'll see if Sam uh Jeff has a backup Emperor. Yeah, I didn't like this play from Sam if you didn't know you were also getting Tarkin. With your draws. Didn't Sam did like have was... a... I just didn't feel like he was in a dire enough situation to pull the trigger on this just yet. So Sam knew he had a 5 on the bottom, and I guess if he has a 5, then he would have had to lose Emperor and Tarkin. Yeah, I don't. That that wasn't the the greatest result for Sam. No, but I guess did he lose any non uniques that that battle? No, he only had Rebel Starfighters there, and they're all so, so he can't loop them. I was thinking maybe if he lost some non uniques, he was could weather in them back so he could use. Rebel Fleet indefinitely. Um, I think, yeah, I don't know. That maybe he thought he was going to be able to. I think it's Bounty, huh? What are you looking for? How much force does Sam have saved? Emperor, I guess. Uh, I'm not sure. Any? Does he have anything? I thought he had say it looked like there was maybe three, but it was on it was um 
three would make sense because then he could play hyper escape. I'd be very interested in going after Luke here. Just take off that retrieval. Yeah. Oh, interesting. So Maul's going to tattoo Dr. Revazon. Okay. I like that. So now you change the the damage race in your favor. Hmm. Jeff might actually win this game. I would have been very interested in um, I still would have been interested in battling at KFX. I think there's a chance you would check your, what your destiny is and you would see if you would clear both ships or not. Um, and I think there's a chance that Sam just like hyperscapes away. Places walking out of play to retrieve a force. Makes sense. I wonder if that was a ship. Yeah, I I I kind of had the feeling that Jeff could have put himself in the same position where he has two ships at two unoccupied systems where Sam doesn't have anything, but also had the benefit of battling with first strike. Um, I mean, Sam could have played Hushix out of nowhere to add it to Destiny, or he could have... Um, yeah, if he had done that, I guess, and played and used Tycho's and then drawn greater than seven. But I still think it depends on what Jeff could have drawn for Destiny, if he could have cleared both ships. Though I guess that's unlikely with the um the all power to weapons type card that um episode one starfighters can use. Yeah, this is where the fun begins. Yeah, so what do you think you do here if you're, you're Sam, you're you're lower on life force, you're paying to drain, six to drain and one to retrieve. I don't think you want to move in front of the shuttle. Yeah, I think you just got to play for diff at this point. And hope you can get a big, big retrieve off with um, all wings. Because he has four of the arc starfighters on the table right now. Yeah, I think the play for Sam would just to like move. move. Kind of like move three or four ships in front of all Sith infiltrator. Interesting thing about that is that uh, um, Jeff could, if let's say Sam does move a bunch in front, Jeff could just cloak. Sure. And a Tatooine, it doesn't make sense, but uh, any other system, that would be damage neutral because we'd be blocking Adrena 2. And then the advantage is that it prevents Sam from getting a force drain that would benefit him for weather vein purposes. 
also allows Jeff to battle back if he wants. If he has like another, like he could potentially battle, then cloak. Then next turn, play another character mm -hmm. to get the first strike damage going. Oh, very interesting. He does not move in front of them all. So I, I very clearly was way off base when several turns earlier I was like, Jeff might want to just draw up here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, he might actually win this game. I didn't, didn't know what was in Jeff's deck. A second ship seems to certainly be very, very helpful. Yeah, it looks like it's one of the issues with this hidden base deck that Sam has is if they get an early ship down, it's really hard to get rid of it. Yeah, someone who played a lot of EBO. Even like I tried Hidden Base, I tried Yops, and it's actually really hard to clear Dark Side out of space when they have Emperor being a nine forfeit or or what have you. So he does have the All Wings in hand. Does he have enough force to play the Arc Starfighter and then Retrieve 5? Maul should also move to um, Malachor. Oh, is he playing all wings or now? To... Oh, he just missed. He was wondering if the stack ship counted towards the total. But he drew a five, right? It's a four, so the stack ship matters. Alling says on table, so I guess the stack card counts as on table. Is, Is he correct? retrieving? I thought he didn't retrieve. Uh, I, I don't think it counts as, as on table. I think never played it that's that a way. pretty big mistake. Huh? Otherwise, you could just never deploy the ships, right? Yeah. Okay. So, so, yeah, Greg is saying no, does not count as on table. Wow. It's a pretty big mistake on Sam's part. I wonder why he just didn't wait to do that. Well, I think the idea was that he would do it at the end of your opponent's turn, and then you have enough force to, to force drain and retrieve and do these other things. But he could have done that anyways, right? He could have played this. He could have force drained, played the ship. And then waited to retrieve. I don't know how much force he has available to him. Is the thing. Okay, he's put a big old stack in front of Emperor Shuttle. Yeah, I mean, I think Jeff's just going to force drain at the system, the site, and then move it to Keyfax. You don't think he battles into that stack? Maybe if he has, like, I think he has a Count Dooku in hand, so he might want to. What's the third card that's on the shuttle? 
Do we know? Oh, that's a good point. I don't, I'm not sure. Oh, it's Tarkin's bounty, right? That's what it is. Yeah. I wouldn't be too inclined to battle. So he does not, not battle. The one thing that battling does, though, is it does rotate Weather Vane. Is there? I don't think they have been rotating. Weather Vane didn't change position, and he just drank for twice. I think it's only on battles, right? Is it battles? I thought it was when Dark Side initiated drains as well. Oh, just initiate battle. That is a card I, um, I actually haven't played with. It's a weird card, for sure. Um, I think it was a mistake for Sam. So one thing I think Sam should start doing is moving Luke in front of whatever ship. Or maybe that doesn't make sense because if he just moves away, then he can't force you in there. Yeah. Yeah, I don't, I feel like Luke, Luke shouldn't be at Naboo. Luke should be at Tatooine. This is the finals, Jared. Sam Tashima versus <laughs> Jeff Levine. And when you, yeah, um, yeah, what would I be doing here if I was Sam? Okay, just put a defense fighter in front of Maul Sith Infiltrator. All right, let's see if he gets Luke back to Tatooine. Yeah, that's what it looks like he's doing. That's good. Spending a lot of force. Doing some more movement. So he's blocking some drains here. It'd be helpful to know the life counts. Yeah, it doesn't look like Jeff has a lot left, so maybe this is just damage control from Sam. This does represent two pings from first strike. Yeah, if I'm if I'm Jeff, if I have, have the force to deploy anything. Hmm. Where where I can just add additional forfeit on the shuttle. Looks like Jeff maybe has like five or six down. It's hard to tell. So he might not have enough force to to battle, retrieve, and then draw three with Emperor Shuttle. I mean, if if he can only, well, 
one thing I would consider doing is battling drawing three destiny and then moving losing um losing emperor and then you could just move small shuttle in front at key fix i think you would make them lose three cards if you drew three destiny It's an interesting board position here. Let's see what Jeff seems to be uh, really contemplating his play here. It looks like he has only one card in reserve deck, right? I think he has two. Yeah, two. I, okay. I can't, can't. It's hard to tell how much he has in the force pile. If he had one to battle, one to retrieve three to the, for the destinies, and then one to move again. I would want to initiate battle with Emperor's Shuttle. Draw three destinies. Forfeit Emperor, most likely. Maybe you just forfeit Tarkin, if you're lucky. Okay, so it looks like there is a battle here, and Sam is playing this is where the fun begins. So now all of his Republic Starfighters are power plus one and even to attrition. Yeah, that was the card that he played earlier to um, fail the all-wing report in. Yeah, this this is um, I don't like this battle. I, I that's a card Jeff should have been playing around. Yeah, because now Sam's not going to lose anything, and Jeff is surely going to be outpowered here. He's about to lose. At least Amazon, maybe possibly even Maul. I think it's 15 power to 6 power. Draws an 8. So the arcs are four power each, and the Naboo defense fighters are what, one power? Two power, so. Oh, Jeff had plenty of force? Yeah, this 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 was not a good battle for Jeff, and I So eight plus six is 14. I think Jeff is just down by a seven or eight. He might just get away with forfeiting Maul. Or the destinies, I didn't see him. Uh, five and two. Uh, or Jeff drew a seven. Becomes a... Oh, it does not become an eight. But he drew a seven, and then um, Sam drew a five and a two. Uh, the stream is getting a little choppy for yeah. me. Yeah.
It's been a really interesting game, though. It's definitely the type of game you expect to see in the finals. Just really sharp play from both players. Looks like he just peeled a lot there. Oh, wow. So he yeah, lost to Evazon and peeled like three or four. Oh, and then, no, I said he peeled a couple and then he used Maul's ability to cloak. Gotcha. It's not not great when you have to <laughs> when you lose the battle, lose a guy and then have to cloak in your own battle. Well, what's interesting here is that he can't force strain this turn. So he can't rotate weather bang. If you're Sam, do you I don't I think you want to do you battle at Keyfex? Uh, I wonder if he has another copy of this is where the fun begins. So he does have gold leader, gold one, and green, or Tycho and green. Okay, so he's getting two destiny there. No, no, no. Um it's only one destiny. It's it's Tycho and Green, which he can hit to cancel it. Oh, okay. I thought you meant Tycho and Green Leader. Yeah, you can't drain with Luke when Hunt Down is flipped. Back in the day, it made the location a non battleground. That's no longer the case, though, right? Yeah, I don't think that's the case. It's a weird rule. It used to be not, not a battleground. That's crazy. Yeah, because you couldn't initiate battle at it. Um, that's why the responsibility of command much anger and him combo was particularly de deadly in Hunt Down because you put it on their Jedi, turns it into a non battleground, and you could flip. I think Sam has maybe one or two non-uniques left in his deck. I don't yeah, know. Or go ahead. He has at least one more Arc Star Fighter and one more Defense Fighter that are not on table. Well, who knows if he's lost them or not. So he plays three Naboo defense fighters and six Arc star fighters. I think he just played Sith Fury. To get back Evazon. Hmm. So a card we just saw in his reserve deck that I would actually be pretty helpful is um uh Ellis Hellerot. He could relocate Vader to Mustafar and then like Ellis Bonnet to the two two, start draining for two and one. If I'm Jeff, I still want to battle a QFX, and then I could just move away um, 
to, to Naboo and block Adrena too. It's weird that he spent that force to get Amazon back. Sure, it really does anything. If he has, um, if he has enough force in his force pile to deploy Evazon, battle, retrieve, and draw destinies, then he could forfeit Evazon at this battle, keep Ember and Tarkin around. And unless Sam has um, uh, the card to give um, X-Wings and Y-Wings immunity to attrition, which I don't think he does, then he would be able to... Um, yeah, but if you played Evazon, I don't think you get a force to draw Destiny with Gold Leader, Gold 1 there. And to retrieve with the first strike. So now Sam gets to train for four again. And rotate weather vane to retrieve a four. Force. I think Sam only has six force. Or does he have it looked like he only activated five there? It's hard to tell. No, he's got more than he's got at least three there. Yeah. He's got at least like six or seven in that stack in his hand, which is his first pile. He's he only paid to drain at one location. Yeah. Did he retrieve with Luke? I don't know if he retreated with Luke. It's Jeff only, how much force does Jeff have there, right there? Like two or three? It does not seem like a lot. I thought he had like 10 or 11 before. One, two, three. Okay, yeah. He has a lot there. He's had a big force file this whole time. So Amazon gets back on the infiltrator. He moves to Malachor. I guess uh, um, Jeff is just hoping yeah, he's running out of um, non-unique starfighters. I don't know what he's afraid of. I feel like he should just be battling because it's a first strike. Hey, weather man. Yeah, I agree. I think there's a number of times he could have battled with Emperor Shuttle. Worst case scenario, he loses Emperor more likely he would just lose Tarkin. That would make the Emperor shuttle then subject to or at risk of Bravo fighter taking it out. But then he could have just added um Evazon on like the following turn. So I don't think Sam drained and I don't think he retrieved with Luke. He just moved his guys around. 
Uh, no, he drained. He did one drain. Yes, so he just forced me to retreat three, and um, there was no. No starfighter. Yeah, I think now you can just battle. Yeah, it looks like he's battling with Maul. Just as that's lose Amazon. And yeah, not, not battling into the stack. Interesting. I would have battled into the stack, honestly. I've been saying that for many turns now. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, because uh, Sam has to lose Tycho if he wants to cancel your immunity. You're probably just going to lose Emperor. Okay. Turn up two, whether main rotates. Trees of Luke. Okay. It's going to be a real close one here. It's looking like Jeff has it. Yeah, probably by single digits. So Sam spent three to drain, one paid one to retrieve, four, five, and then just spent four to move. So that's nine in use pile. It looks like he has one force in force pile and two in hand, so I think 12. Jeff has like six cards, seven cards left. I think Sam has something similar. I think Sam, I think Sam's like 12. The difference here being is that Sam has to pay for battle, battle order. And yeah, Jeff can just cover two drains. So the damage is two to two with Sam retrieving one, but paying to drain. It's it's just gonna be really close. I don't know. I'm sure we can math it out here, but yeah, and then we would need exact counts. And then Sam has to use a good number of force to move his ships around. Well, he just did. He just did weather vane, so he gets to get another card back. So he might be able to set up. Getting a non unique back, drawing it into hand to cancel another drain. If he did that, he would, I think he would need to sequence this a bit better. I think he would want to, um, unless he has an all wings in hand, you would. Well, you can always, you can always draw from a new secret base V. Oh, that's a good point. 
I was thinking he would want to do it towards the end. But he's using every single force here. Yeah. The limiting factor for Sam here is the amount of force he has. On the other hand, Jeff has five or six cards left, and it's going to be really hard for him to even draw Battle Destiny. He's tracking that seven, though. Jeff battling with Maul. Makes sense. Draws out seven. And Sam draws a two. Sam's only got like eight, ten power. Yeah, they tie in power. Or no, tie, maybe so. Jeff has one up. I think it's ten ten. I think that's a Ujix combo, Sam's hand. So we can at least block one of the space drains because of that. Okay, drain two and up. Ooh. Probably retrieve a Luke and then move somebody in front of Maul. How much? I think he has four left in his force file. However, this game this game's obviously very close. I think either I'm I, I think Jeff may, may have it given battle plan. Um Well I think Sam is battling here. Interesting. Battling against Maul. Gonna who jicks out of the battle. But causing that two differential. Those do forfeit for six. And he's okay, so we lost one. Peeled one, and then he's gonna who jicks out of this battle. Wait, did Jeff even say force? Oh, I know. The gold leader's not even there. What am I talking about? Three guards. Wow. Okay, so Jeff, Jeff by three. Wow. Woo! What a game. So next match should be or next game should be very interesting. With a maybe terrain. as equally uh, challenging. There's going to be a lot of sites on. Yeah, so the next match is Sam on Ball RTS versus Jeff on No Idea. It'll be a very interesting game.
I would say you know I do is slightly favored. Just because they have a lot of ways to to handle all of the weapons. They can cancel the force rain bonuses with Minus Fades. All right, we'll be back very shortly. I assume the players are going to take a quick break, and so will the commentators. <laughs> we, I, I, I for one need one. <laughs> what what a, what a yeah. intense man, right. game that was. Yeah. We'll be back shortly with game two of the finals.
So, uh, all right, here we are. Last game. This one should be a good one. I agreed. I, I actually, it, it's pretty great that the differential is only three, um, a sizable advantage. You can actually start changing your play patterns from play that wins the game. You can start making plays that just attack the differential. And here we're just going to get a very straight yeah, up although... game. Sam with a pretty spicy start here is starting no bargain. It's pretty good against no idea. <laughs> to your um, to your point earlier, it, it Jeff is going to want to get up menace fades going. Yeah. Yeah. And um so I don't know if um <laughs> if Sam's gonna be able to drain for more than one at any of his uh I don't mean Jabba's Palace sites. Yeah, but with there, go no ahead. bargain, Sam is going to be able to spread pretty thinly to the Java's Palace sites. Probably it just threaten a lot of damage pretty quickly. Yeah, I guess there'll be three battle, there'll be three Java's Palace sites. Um, and then if you can go, um, Sam, for people who are unfamiliar, um, Uh, I think Sam is going to get out two systems, Rendili and Nalhada. And then he's going to, he plays a, a very light space package of probably Boba Fett um, and Slave One, and then uh, Zuckus and, and Miss Hunter. And he uses one of those two ships at one of his systems to satisfy battle plan all game. Um. And Jeff may be running around trying to block that drain with his own ships, but would otherwise be... So both players are probably going to satisfy battle plan, battle order this game. Yeah, no doubt. But it, it, to your point... Uh, and feel pretty safe at them, draining for one, one at each of them for the majority of the game. In contrast, uh, Sam, if he gets out uh, the beach and he gets out um, us at just the, the beach. So it looks like Sam um, used hold a system and then sacked mob points combo and grab something special planned combo or uh, virtual. Makes sense. Mob points combo not doing a whole lot. Yeah, uh, you can't even play Jedi in uh, no idea. Yeah, there's no docu base to be seen either. So you think um, Rod Small, you think No Idea is going to be favored here? That's my inclination, just because they have a lot of answers to the EPPs that Rod Small is playing. But No Bargain is pretty good, so it kind of 
I think that card kind of puts the matchup on its head a little bit. Yeah, I no idea it does tend to put a lot of cards on table. Um I think if if they get those three sites out and Sam gets this um with characters at them so he can drain for one at each and then Sam gets his ship out. Um I think they're gonna be even unless they're you know fighting over the beach. In, or even in terms of damage. I think both of them could be doing three to four damage a turn. Um, no idea typically plays Luke Skywalker virtual, which would allow him to retrieve one per turn. I think some versions are playing um, reflection virtual, which also allows you to uh, force train for more in, in, in space, uh, but also occasionally retrieve when you battle. Yeah, also new gen. We'll have the damage potential as well. Yeah, so I think there's there's a couple ways no idea has to to eke out a couple more damage. Um, yeah, it'll be. I think one of the key cards, in, in addition to flipping, um, which would enable Jeff to cancel a weapon destiny from Sam. Another key card would be uh, Sabotage Virtual, which cancels a um, permanent weapon targeting him. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think this game could go a lot of different ways. Um, it'll it'll be... I think it'll be a very interesting match. Yeah, and it really depends on... I don't know if Jeff is playing Menace Fades or not. Sometimes no idea doesn't play it. I think it'd be crazy not to. I agree. <laughs> Um, I think a lot of Team 5 players in their QMC, so um, this would be Hayes and Steven Salucci, um, didn't play Menace Fades, which I thought was, was pretty wild. Um, but I think, you, I think you're more interested in it in No Idea than you would be in QMC. And the reason is that in QMC, you're looking to get Ancient Watering Hole and Celebration, whereas in Menace, you don't have to get any of those other enablers. And Menace Phase is kind of one of your key damage reduction cards. Yeah. Okay, we'll get through his attack. Let's see if we can spot Menace Phase. There's the beach. He is playing the new Jin. I think some... Uh, Some people were still playing the old gen, just undercover spies are really, really strong. But th this new gen is, I think, a, a really good card. Did see a projection in there, which um, I think is more like most likely to go on a Java's Palace site than um, a Scarab site. I, I, I think a pretty common play for no ideas to put a projection at the data vault after you leave it. Um, but the rocks, Rise of the Sith uh, game text would shut that down. Yeah. But wouldn't stop it at a different, at the Jawas Palace sites. But per, if he's playing projection, that signals to me that he might not be playing Menace Fades. That'd be the, the dark time. Yeah, because usually it's one of the other. I mean, he could be playing both. Who knows? But typically what I've seen is you either play Projection or you play Menace Fades. The only drain bonuses that Sam might have might be Maul with Lightsaber. Sometimes you see uh, Galid, but... Yeah, there's a lot of fringe cards that these decks can fit in. So both players just got out their locations and, and drew. So he he is playing Caleb, by the way. Okay. So 
So yeah, if he can get Gala, he might just pull Gala with Audience Chamber, honestly. It's not a bad idea. Because you feel pretty safe with no bargain. He pulled Gick. I'm sure he's got Barrier and Sunning Leader. I had no idea. I can't really... They don't really have the cards to play around Barrier or Sunning Leader. So it looks like he pulled Hondo with Audience Chamber. Oh. To pull Slave 1. Okay. Makes sense. Pretty good sequence. Pull Hondo, pull Slave 1. Is Hondo a... Um, it's a download, right? It's not an upload. It is a download, yeah. I don't know if I love going to space so early, because now no idea has a chance to attack Bubba Fett. Yeah, if you, I mean, if you have a barrier, I think it's... I would not expect Jeff to be playing a barrier canceler. Yeah, usually no idea doesn't have any, uh, any way to force through battles. Yeah, so if, I mean, if you have barrier, then you'll just move away, and it it's going to be really hard. Like this space package is just really hard to deal with for lights to deal with. You you pretty much can't clear them out of space. Yeah, so even if you get rid of that, just retrieve it with with uh, Java Save in. Play it again the next turn. Yeah. Yeah, and both that's forfeits for seven, so it, it seven power, seven forfeit uh, plus destiny. It's I I think there's almost no chance there would be a beat down even if he removed it and then he could just retrieve it and deploy it elsewhere. Okay, so Jeff coming down with Melshi. That's right. He lets him upload a trooper or or um, throw me another charge. Throw me another charge. I don't think we're seeing that one. You know, I was actually expecting to see that in the top eight. Throw me another charge because weekend. of trooper assault. Because of trooper assault. Yeah, one of the lesser known gate part of its text is that it cancels trooper assault. Um, and uh, Steven Suji and some other players were playing a version of Thrawn that was. A, a trooper version of Thrawn, and so I was I was imagining maybe like the hit code players would find one, a, a slot for that. I guess Hayes is hanging out with new allies right now, and he's saying that they're uh, very excited about the Hondo and Boba play. There's the projection. I think Sam's act activating 18 for us. That counts 17. Oh, right. Yeah, I was double, I was counting two for the, um, the 1 0. Okay, interesting. I'm assuming, yeah, okay. <laughs> it's like, I'm assuming that Blue 11 is at the beach. It is. So Jeff is now threatening three damage at the beach. Um, and um, Sam will be fortuning for one here. Uh, Jeff is activating 16 forces turn. 
Yeah, if, if Sam can find Galid, though, he can just play the Galid, the Iron Chamber, and just put all his dudes to all these Java's Palace sites. And there was really not much Jeff could do besides try to kill him in space. I wonder if Sam had Galeid in hand. It it seems important enough that you wouldn't want to have used your audience chamber pull on Hondo for Boba Fett. It's possible. Unless he just felt like he really, really needed to take advantage of both of them being in his reserve deck to get a space presence. Yeah, I, yeah, I think like you were saying the new one. Allies cohort is very excited about this line of play. Um, Sam being a member of New Allies. Yep, here comes Shizor. Oh, we see Luke Skywalker in Jeff's hand. Okay, yeah, wall to the data vault. That makes sense. With new gun right. Okay. Makes sense because Jeff can't really do anything about that drain there. And just a reminder that Jeff is only up by three differential. So it's pretty much going to come down to whoever wins this game, I would imagine. So Jeff can pay for three to drain for two and then paying for one. So he's doing three damage to turn. Can do three damage next turn. Whereas um, Sam is threatening a drain to two at the data vault. One at Jabba's Palace and then one at Nalhada, which he can pay for. I'm imagining well, he can, um, he's probably going to move Hondo to the lower passage. I would assume. Yeah. So there's an extra drain of one there. So the best card for Sam right now would be Galen, for sure. Looks like um, Sam has one saved. Maybe two? Uh, two or three. Yeah. Looks like this is Walkling probably for another projection. Yep. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Oh, maybe he has four saved. Three or four, yeah. Yeah, one of the one of the plays I was thinking Jeff might want to make is just attack into Boba Fett, knowing that whatever he plays first is going to get barriered. Which shield is that? Resistance. Resistance. Does he have Jen at the beach? Do you play Jen? Oh, he may have. I, that may have been why Blue Eleven came down because I think I saw Jen in reserve deck, and that would have pulled Jen. Yeah. So Jeff pays the drink for two. We'll ping for one. I think you're right. I think Jeff's really only option right now is to go after Fed space.
I think he went to deploy maybe a docking bay just to see there, but there's no ship to pull with a new idea objective. Yeah, I mean, one of the one of the concerns I had with pulling projection there is that he had to use three force to do it. And if he had instead deployed and battled into FET with multiple things, expecting at least one barrier, that it, um, that looks like Lay's rebel transport. Looks like Sam's contemplating barrier. Would you would you grab this as a no idea player? Depends on Jeff's game plan. If his game plan is centered around clearing Sam from space, then yeah, I think you have to. It doesn't look like I didn't see a barrier there. Oh, there is menace fades. Okay, so Jeff is playing menace fades. It looked like Ray just came down from hand. So it was... Sam does have the luxury of being able to generally just deploy one character to a site. Where Sam is, uh, there's six there's six cards at the data vault. I think Jeff's going to need a little bit more here, though. Because you need a, at least a four to clear that. That's pretty hard to do, I no idea. There's Luke. I mean, he may, he also might just be fine blocking the drain. Okay, there's projection. I think projection there is a mistake. I think he should this should be at the lower passages. Why do you say that? Uh Jeff can deploy to Maul's landing site for without the no bargain penalty. And I think if he ever does that, he would be um following up and going. He could potentially follow up and go to the Java's Palace, where he's never going to go to lower passages. So That's I true. think, I think playing it at a site that you're never going to go to is the better, just marginally better. That's true. Maybe he's just not thinking about going to Tatooine. So we also saw Leia. I think this is a battle from Jeff. That's Saw, so that's... It's a 
So I was a two. That's made a three by Ray. So I think it's Ray, Luke, and that was Princess Leia. Princess Leia. Okay. So who did Jeff lose there? I think Jeff have Jeff lost Princess Leia. Um, and Sam peeled a few. I thought Sam would have to peel one. Three, six, nine, ten, twelve to he drew a I thought he drew um drew a four. A Tom scan, which would be eleven power to twelve. So maybe he just peeled out one ball strikes. I thought that was already in his loss pile. Oh, is is Fed plus one? No, that's the other it's like one. Fed is seven. Plus four eleven. Jeff forget about Ray? Maybe Jeff forgot about Ray. Still, that's really good for Sam. <laughs> just now he can just run away from this and Jeff has to come up with more space to clear Sam. Yeah, I didn't like that battle there. So now Sam's journey for three to a mall site on a Honda site. I mean, I guess there's a lot of upside if he drew a four and clearing Boba Fett. Yeah, but then Sam can just drop a save and get fed back and just redeploy him. But yeah, it would slow him down a turn. But that's asking a lot of no idea to draw a four. I played no idea at Southern Showdown and God, I hated it. I thought I was terrible. <laughs> Why was that? I just never felt like I mean, there's it's very possible I was just playing the deck incorrectly, but just always felt like I never had enough force to do anything. And I never had enough enough stuff to attack my opponent with. Whoa. So Sam's com coming out with Aura to the beach? Yeah, it was because Jeff is not flipped, he doesn't have the objective's ability to cancel a weapon. Yeah, but that's a lot of power at the beach. It certainly is. <laughs> okay. Okay. Dr. Arvizan is really good. So hopefully... So Jeff really needs a sabotage here. Oh, he has... Keep your eyes open. Yeah, I saw that. He doesn't have any force saved um, because he initiated battle on the previous turn, which is also one of the reasons I didn't like the battle. Um, if, for whatever reason, Sam wanted to battle this turn... Like it looks like he's going, he may do. He also may just move in front. Sidious. I think we're going to see a battle. Because you can just operate on whoever has Stardust, right? And it goes immediately goes back. That's right. So we got Herod, got Pow. Melshi and Taidu. Uh, 
Hera be power four, but uh, or staying base power. Everyone else is power plus two from the beach and um. Oh no, the the other power plus one is on the flip side as well. Yeah, this is a good opportunity for Sam to attack while Jeff is not flipped. Yeah, Jeff. I think Jeff was just better off going to not to not our shot or uh, Scarif with his space package and flipping. Because that battle against Fett really didn't accomplish anything. I think they're getting a rules clarification on Scarif. Or on a, the data, data tapes. But I'm pretty sure if you operate on the guy, it goes it immediately goes to the data vault. Please keep your eyes open. Yep. Um, Jeff is running two battle destiny because Hera is with several rebels. For a 12. I think I think Jeff's about 18 power. Um and has two destiny and Sam has I think six, ten, fifteen power. Worst case I I imagine that uh so he draws four lom, but he sits Fury's four lom in hand. So it's a three. Jeff drawing a three and a three? A four and a three. Four and a three. I think it's 25 to 18. I think so. So I think he just needs to lose Sidious and then he can move um, Maul and Newt in front. And one of the cards that um, Jeff drew for Destiny was Reflection Virtual. And I'm not sure he can play it anymore, given that he lost Leia in the previous battle. Yeah. Okay, so he loses Pow. Which he does something, right? You can, like, draw cards or... Yeah, I think if you have less than six cards in hand, you can draw up to six. I don't know if I love losing that guy. Doesn't Melshi get you a trooper when he dies, or Taidu get you a card from your use pile? Melshi does, but he has um, Stardust. Oh, yeah, he has Stardust. So Boba Fett moves away and the other characters move in front. Um, Sam grab, keep your eyes open. So Jeff's taking quite a bit of damage. I think you like where you are if you're Sam. Yeah, especially because it's going to be really difficult for Jeff to flip this turn. Because you would have to go to scare a system and to the data vault in order to flip. Drain one, retrieve one with Luke. It, 
not ping with Stardust. I don't think you're going to start us. Oh. Looks like they're possibly backing up. Yeah, I think. Okay. Yeah. Um... Yeah, if I'm Jeff, I'm pretty interested in flipping here. Yeah, it looks like that's what he's planning on doing. Ezra comes down to the data vault. And honestly, just moving the transport to Scarif, accepting that you'll take the turn, the drain. Honchui Falcon. Okay, so now he flips. Question is, do you battle at the beach now? No. Most definitely not. Oh, there's combined fleet action. So now Sam only gets one destiny there. But he has to reinforce Hantri Falcon. Otherwise, you open yourself up to Zuckus and Miss Hunter. Well, that's only a problem if um, he draws a five for battle destiny right true and right now i think the only five he knows about is the dark time that he played jeff could be playing barrier well there's a six Uh, pretty interesting that he's playing Masterful Move regular and not Masterful Move combo. Given the amount of QMC that we saw, I would have expected the combo. Maybe he just feels confident enough in that matchup that he doesn't need it. I mean, it's a really good matchup for Rise of the Sith. Guess, yeah, Sam now has that six on top. So if he can find Zuckus to go after Andre Falcon, that's going to be really good. And I don't see a barrier at Jeff's hand. Now, if you're Sam, do you battle at the beach? Um, wouldn't he only have the six and then Destiny on top? Well, now he's four lopping, so. I think Sam has two cards left in his deck, and one is the the force he used for Masterful Move, and then Masterful Move on top. Is that correct? That's what I thought. But I think it's a little... Would you Masterful Move and then just pick it up again with Fall On? Well, I think there was a card on top. I think he left three. He left three. So he could Fall On the seven back. That's my guess. My guess is Sam's plan was to track the, track the six, grab the seven, put the seven back with four long, 
So you end up with a six on top. Is this six force? There it is. Yep. And I don't think he has bear here. There's no escape to get Aplek back. So he could just go the space to guarantee this. It's pretty good. Pretty good for Sam. So that also was going to flip flip Jeff back, right? Yep, that's right. Okay, so was, I guess Sam didn't have enough force to go all the way down to the sixes because he just searched his deck there. I thought for sure Sam was activating enough to get down to the six. Yeah, based off of the number of cards he has out, I, it seemed like a reasonable guess. Still, he has two masterful moves in there, two characters. So pretty good shot at killing Andre Falcon here. Oh, uh, so he plays quite a mercenary targeting Dr. E during the deploy phase. I think that makes sense, because if you get Hauntry Falcon cleared, then Sam just goes wild with Dr. E there. Well, I think you would you would do that. Um, yeah, you had to do it during the deploy phase. Because if he battled into Hauntry Falcon, he could do it during the battle. So there's the power destiny from Jeff. Retrieving one. It's a good thing we have Phil there to make sure everything's in order with the sequencing of the cards. It's like Cassian? Yeah. Oof. There's a one. Does he have a Sith Fury? He does. So he's going to redraw that. Jeff, yeah, I guess you just grab this. I mean, I mean, at this point, I don't think there's anything else you're really interested in grabbing. There's the six and the six. Wow. Jeff might take overflow here. No, I think Falcon's four foot eight. Hmm. So I think he's. Um, that's does fine. Applec oh, I guess Applec doesn't add to power, does he? No. It also turns off the Admiral Order, I believe. So I'm curious. I feel like Sam should have. Well, I guess with Dr. E's game text gone, it's not as enticing as bat to battle there anymore. Yeah, now Sam has like full board control. Just gonna need a lot to fight Duckus and Applek in space. So you can't he can't even move Leia's resistance starfighter over. Doesn't have the hyperspeed to make it to Scarif. Oh yeah, because he's at he's at a Rendilli's one on one. Rendilli's a two. And Scarif okay. is a seven. Oh. And I, I think he honestly would have been interested in moving in front. 
because then he could turn back the Admiral's order. Otherwise, you know, Doctor at the beach, he's looking at a second destiny from Newt and um, Doctor E with two weapons. Yeah, now HUD is only a three, so there's no way for Jeff to get back to Scarif. I think he did have Tantive in hand, so I'm trying to think of what what he could assemble here to attack Zuckus and Missar. I don't think there's a lot. Yeah, I don't I don't know what do you do here if you're Jeff? Do you just try to spread? Go to the desert landing site? Um I think you might actually I think you want to take the beach. If you have answered, if you have an answer to Dr. E, um, it, it's it'd be it's going to be really hard to take the beach. He would want he would need to um, the the destiny in Sam's reserve deck is really good. Okay, there's Saw getting pulled with Blue 11. Saw's pretty good. It's an extra four to attrition. Corin. So I think whoever holds. Yeah, so he's just kind of stacking and then moving guys in front. And Sam can force train for one at Scarif, and he can force train for one at the Jaws Palace site. And right now, Jeff is retrieving for one with Luke and pinging for one at Stardust. Um, that said, this upcoming battle could go really poorly. Jeff really needs um, sabotage or keep your eyes open. Uh, another quite a mercenary V to target Dr. E. I think if you're Sam, though, you're just you're perfectly OK just sitting here. I don't know if you even really are incentivized to battle into that. Yeah, I mean, if if you if you say, let's say he has keep your eyes open. I mean, he can draw. I think he's going to have like a six and a seven at the bottom of his deck, and each one's going to be plus one because of all. And so he he could clear a fair amount there. Yeah, I just don't think you need to, right? You're blocking the drain of two, which is the most important thing. Well, no. So, I mean, Jeff, he's only draining for one and one. I'm saying Sam doesn't need to battle. I think that's Savage Oppress.
And then Arca went to the war room. Yeah, I think if you're Sam, you just you just sit there. Yeah, I I mean adding Erica there. Yeah, so he moves that away. Is good because he's continuing to add damage to the board. Yeah. And if Jeff battles you, you're okay. You're just like, I'll kill a few of your guys. Then I can always just abandon the beach if he needs to. And Sam's put a lot of power at the beach at this point. Right. It's no. It's no simple task to to clear that out. Yeah, you'll be losing a lot of resources. Yeah, I think this goes back to the the play going after Ball or uh, Boba Fett. I mean, I think it's just such a tempo negative play for Jeff. I yeah, I mean I don't know how many Destiny fours and higher were in his reserve deck at that time. If there was sufficient a number that you're like, oh, I've got a sixty percent chance at this working out for me, maybe it was worth it. But when he did it, he lost Leia and that lost him reflection. Yeah, now he can't even get to Scarif. I've changed my opinion about this matchup. I think no idea is not favored. I think this style of deck just has too many too many problem cards like Dr. Abazon and Zuckus. Yeah, I do think Sam's been a little those are problem cards, but Sam has also just drawn the Zuckus and drawn the Doctor E. He's had like to he's used four long twice he hasn't used a force push um he's just played a fair number of characters and so there's a barrier on shirit so jeff does have bright hope and tandem in hand but you just might not have the pilots to. I wonder if he's going to have to abandon the beach. Play Tantive, shuttle some guys up. Okay, this is good. Cassian is really good here. The Jen's gonna add a battle destiny. Yeah, I I feel like he should have one spy with Stardust in blue eleven. That would um completely protect them, right, from being Doctor Eid. Does Stardust require you to be present? If on your spy at a battleground you occupy, opponent loses one force. And then, I mean, the only card he, the card that he'd most be worried about would be like P fifty nine. Um, but now with Cassian and, you know, maybe he has a sabotage. He, he's he's okay keeping whoever outside. Yes. Yeah. Here's my question, like, if you work in a battle there, that turn, when are you ever going to battle? Because Sam will never battle. Well, Jin adds an extra damage per turn, right? She only has to four strains. Oh, she only has to four strains? Yeah. I thought she, I thought she increased the ping for some reason. Yeah, four strain plus one. So I don't know, maybe he's planning on moving her into the data vault with the Stardust. 
That's he also just might be looking to battle the next turn. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know why you give Sam another turn here. I think you just have to battle and accept your fate. Okay, here's the Saj going after Shirit. Do we know if Jeff has Hujix in his hand? I'm not sure. I don't know if we ever saw him pull it. We have not seen him pull it. It's eight power there. For Sam. Sam would have I think Sam would have really liked a, a first strike there. Yeah, first strike would have been really good this game. Okay, so he draws a six for test battle destiny. And fourteen to nine cheer it will cover. Okay, so Chad, so I guess he does have Hujix in hand. Oh, Sam is moving away from the beach. I don't know if you need to do that. Uh, it's pretty interesting. I guess it creates two different pressure points. Like, Jeff, it looks like he has, I don't know, 12 cards in, in Life Force right now. Yeah, I feel like Sam is just way ahead in this game. Sam has resistance, or, yeah, resistance out, so Jin doesn't even add a force to the force train. Yeah, I think I think moving over was fine. It's Jeff would need to move a number of characters over as well. Um and then there's still Erica to worry about. But this might give Jeff the opportunity to go to space and shuttle some guys up. There's that. That's a good point. So you can get Corin and Cassian up there. Although I don't know how much force Jeff has. He might not even have that much force. It was it looked like it was maybe like Okay, so that's Bright Hope, and then we'll see Tantu. Yep, and now we can shuttle Corin up there. I would imagine Corian and Cassian get up there. Torn. Torn far, yeah, she's good. And uh, Cassian, probably? Yeah. So, and Hera joins them. So, we got Hera, Cassian, and Torn far up there with Bright Open Tanto. Jeff is going to be taking a drain of five, um, but he is threatening knocking out Zuckus, but there's really nothing he can do to take out Boba Fett still. Yeah. Jeff activated all, leaving a five on top, which I think was a mistake. So he has a five, I think, on top of his reserve deck, but I think he's just going to peel him to drains. Whereas if he had activated at all, 
that five would have been at the bottom of his reserve deck and he could have used it on his next turn. Visual man saying though that he could just shuffle with tentacle. Sam could shuffle with tentacle if he desired. Yeah, Sam needs to recognize that. But like Jeff's losing a tracked five off the top instead of like putting himself in a position to use it and forcing Sam to make that play. Some guts. And sand. I think that was sand. That loses the five off the top. So it looks like Jeff has two jigs, Jedi 11 hand. I couldn't see what the other card was. I don't have a strong sense of how much life force uh, Sam has left. I think Jeff's probably around like 10 cards. Okay, so we know Jeff's hand is quite a mercenary V, Jedi 11 V, and two jigs. I want to gleam more. One of my favorite cards. Funny story. When Drew was playing CCT in court, I told him that he should add Connor Gleam more to his deck. And he pretty much laughed at me. So that God of Gleamore was a terrible card, but huh. Drew soon learned how good God of Gleamore is. G Ghana is a very, very good card. I mean, look how good she is here. Or he. Is it a he? She? I don't remember. We can drain for one, drain for two, which will be canceled, and then ping for one. Yeah, so three total damage. Okay, so Jeff has 11 down, 4 in hand. Sam has 9 down, but 7 in hand. Jeff is dealing 3, retrieving 1. Sam is dealing 5. Yep. So he's playing Jedi Lev to get back. Let's see who he gets back. 
Leia would be pretty good because I think he has reflection in hand. Or maybe not. Yeah, reflection could swing this game. If if Jeff can set that up. Or okay, he's just sending her after Arica. What's interesting about that Leia is that her deploy cost cannot be increased, so she could have actually gone to Jabba's Palace. <laughs> interesting. Without suffering the no bargain tax. But would you rather kill Honda or Erica here? Probably just Erica. Yeah, I think going after Erica is pretty good. But you didn't have a destiny save to battle her. Okay, so Sam just cycled that dark time. So now he has track five. Track one. Track two. Looks like he has P59 in hand. So yeah, that track five gonna cost two force to force loss. It's pretty good, it's gonna be pretty good. Quite a mercenary. Two jicks aren't going to do it. Yep, just hit. So now Jeff has to lose two. Jeff draws a one. He gets to retrieve. Depending on what Sam's destiny is here, you might have to, yeah, six. So Jeff's probably going to have to use the Sujix. This so is 14 to five, right? Yeah, so he has to use Sujix. Yeah, is is a little bit of a risky play, Jeff. I think the most punishing card Sam could have had there was the P fifty nine. But Jeff might be able to battle in space here. That might be his avenue to victory is clearing Sam out of space. You can see Sam's really feeling it. This is close. I don't think Sam has used Haven yet either, has he? No, he has not. So I don't think there's any way for Jeff to clear Sam from space. Permanently, I should say. Yeah, and Apolec, look, he can retrieve with Apolec, right? I believe so. Yep. What is that at the top of his force file? Was that Phantom? Yeah, top of Lost Piles. Looks like it's Phantom. Yeah, top of Lost Piles. Yep, 
it's a little hard for me to tell um <clears throat> but it seems like he may have forelarmed into the dark time which would cancel cassian i believe okay yep. so now dar's dark yeah 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 so did jeff battle and sam did not retrieve that plug yeah i think that's right he must have just forgot about that And then he gets the track two, the Bright Hope. Um, so he can lose Cassian if he wants. So Sam probably will be left with the ship here. Oh, I think they might be reading Affleck. Yeah, I think it's a required action. I don't think Sam has... Well, I guess he could not pay for secret plans, right? But they would have to... He would have to indicate that he's not doing it because of secret plans. Oh, there's also capital support too, so well that that'll even out, right? Mm -hmm. Looks like we've reached the damage step. Here goes lost. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Sam have nine force. I think he has ten because of the dark time combo. So, I th I think Sam will be left with a ship here. Which is all he really cares about. But I think he's trying to track, try to remember where his destinies are. So he's six and use. So it looks like all he had to lose was Boba Fett. Sam seems upset about something. I wonder if he just remembered Affleck. Just about to take five here, though. Yeah, I think Jeff only has like seven cards left. And Sam could just retrieve that pet and go back to space. But it looks like Sam's setting something up here. I guess he's just trying to forelong that dark time back. I don't, I don't think Jeff should have drawn up there. I think you want to save a force just in case there's a battle. Okay, so we see Drain 2. Drain 2. Drain of one. It, it, keep in mind that it's crazy, but Sam has to win by at least four cards. Yeah, it's one crazy of the... that we've reached that point in the game where it might actually matter. One of the plays I'm considering 
is um moving Jin in front of the data vault because when Jin's lost, the opponent has to lose a force. Well, he he had to hujix the land. Yeah, yeah. So you know, like the final turn where he's not going to survive another drain, he could move Jin in front. I got you. Lock the drain. He initiates battle. He loses Jin and causes one more force loss. So Jeff has one card in hand, which I think is quite a mercenary, and maybe five cards in force pile, five or six cards. I think you got to move in front of that drain. So they both have six in life force and one card in hand. This is wild. <laughs> I did not realize Sam. this game was so close. But Sam does have the damage advantage. But, like I said, I, don't, I think this three differential might come into play. Crazy. I think the one thing about moving Jin to the data vault is then Sam can just move a bunch of guys to the beach to block that terrain. Well, I guess he has Ghana, so he doesn't really need to do that, does he? But he has Gick in hand. I don't think he's used Gick yet. Uh, I'm pretty I, sure I, saw lose, I saw him lose one to a force drain. I can't believe how close this is. This is crazy. It's what you want, though, in the finals. Michelin Man doing the math says that if you move Jen over next turn. Yeah, I think. Wins. Let's say he doesn't move anything over. Sam just four strains and then moves people in front to block that one point of damage. Yeah, I mean, he could even move his ships too to block damage because he's not taking overflow in space. Sam standing up. <laughs> yeah. That's a tough turn for Jeff. This could this could make or break the game for him. Yeah, Sam Sam I think has 32 power at the data vault. So my guess Ed is that they decided not to they decided just to finish it, regardless of time. I don't know. I hope they finish this game out. I hope it doesn't go to time.
how much how much is in um sam's reserve six is that what we're saying yeah six six down one in hand for sam seven down one in hand for jeff The thing is, I I don't think Sam can actually. Oh, if he plays quite a mercenary, Sam still has an open grabber. Does he have four saved to grab? Well, something special planned is free. Oh, right. He has the free one. I wonder if Sam has a ship in his lost pile to retrieve with something special. Yeah, I mean, I think it's if if you put him in a I don't think he does. I think he only plays those two ships. But if he lost one, he could potentially get that retrieval. It looks like Jeff decided on Melshi. Yeah, I think he was hoping for Hushix. Did he? Oh, he drew. And then he just drew a bunch of cards. I don't think he drew a Hushix into hand. Woo! It's a ballsy play, but maybe that's his only option. Surprised he didn't move Jen over to at least threaten that one for us. Loss. Remember Melchior how he was like the worst option. Remember how he lost Pow earlier? I do. <laughs> if he had lost Taido instead and kept Pow, he could have potentially um... drawn it. Yeah. I mean, he, I guess he just didn't know where it was. Well, he could have looked at his resort deck, right? He didn't. He activated everything, and I think he paid one. Oh, and he's just I like, I think he knew he had one Hujix, and maybe the, the he paid one to retrieve, and he paid one to move, and I think one of those two force he spent was the Hujix. Because I don't think he makes that play unless he thinks he has a Hujix left. But you had to battle for your Sam, right? Like, there's no downside. Yep. <laughs> no, I think it looks like Sam's got this. Yeah, I think I think if you were um, Jeff, I think you just had to move everything into the data vault. Yeah, just hope for the best. Maybe maybe save one force so that you could retrieve if you drew a guy. All right, let's game. He battled. That's all he had to do. There it is, handshake. Sam Tashima is your Indianapolis <laughs> Eclipse event winner. It felt like Sam was due, I'll be honest. He's been playing yeah. so well recently. Congratulations, Sam. That was... Yeah. Um, 
Oof. That was a really impressive top eight he had to play through, and that finals match was down to the wire. That was really, really well played. Incredible. Incredible. I don't think Jeff had an avenue to win there, besides lucking into the Hoojicks, I'm assuming. Yeah, him having the Hoojicks definitely, if he had drawn that, I think that definitely changes the math that cuts down the drain by one. Um, Looks like Joe is explaining to Jeff all the mistakes he made. <laughs> but now nah, Sam played that amazing. Yeah. That was a treat to watch for sure. Yeah, Sam Je made a lot Jeff, of... I, Jeff I, played really well too. Yeah, they both played really well. I, I don't... I, it's hard to think of anything Sam did that was questionable that game. Um, and super, super tight. Like, who, who knows? Maybe if they had drawn... Um, if one Destiny had gone the other way, that would have been, you know, a couple cards different, a different for the other player. But um, yeah, really, really happy for Sam. I think he's one of the one of the really nice guys in the community. So I'm I'm really glad he's uh he's won this. Yeah, I did. Let me tell you why. Behind the scenes, he has put in a lot of effort. He he grinds like nobody I've ever seen when it comes to Star Wars. He's always in our looking for game channel. He's always looking for games. So huge congrats to Sam. He deserves it. And well played by by Jeff as well. I think if you would have told Jeff that you're up by three after playing your hunt down against hit and base, you'd be ecstatic. Yeah, I think Jeff got pretty. I think they both got pretty good draws, but a, like a good draw draw for Jeff was going to do more for him than a good draw for um Sam. Like Sam had the Rebel Fleet on like turn one, and had transmission terminated on turn two. But like Jeff getting Emperor Shuttle and then finding Maul's ship uh 